talk a little bit about everything that's gone on with my dad and my dad's a cat and how many lives he's already used <laughs> and how many he has left so and my mom's gonna yawn through the whole thing yeah, I'm very tired. I'm very tired. so when did you have your first heart attack January 1st 1996 and at that point, how much of your heart did you lose at that with that heart attack? It took him. Uh, it took him 57 minutes to get me to the hospital, and I lost uh, half my heart on it because of it. Because it took them so long. But, yeah. And because my aorta had shut down. The ambulance co corps, they, whatever. They, they was... couldn't get an ambulance crews together because it was New Year's morning. And they're right down the street from our house. And, yeah, and, and by the time they got an ambulance from Newburgh, uh, Mobile Life, by the time they came and got me, oh shit, what, what I was dead? <laughs> you might as well say, all I seen was a bright light and a, coming through a tunnel at me and hearing voices. And then they gave me the TPA shot, boom, I was right back like nothing happened. <laughs> you, how many heart attacks did you have? Well, I, I say a total of four that month, but, uh, you know, of course I had them in the hospital while I was in there too, okay, but uh, the second one put me down in the hospital again where they had to uh, uh, do a bypass. Well, didn't the, your body reject the stents? Huh? Didn't your body reject the stents that no, they no, put in? The, stent that they put in first time and then released me from the hospital collapsed it was uh, i guess a faulty one or something i don't know but uh when that collapsed i had a second heart attack bad and uh, they had to give me a tpa again and they were reluctant whether to do it or not because if they did it could have killed me by making me bleed all inside or if I didn't, I would have died of a heart attack, so they gave me the second TPA, and then when they went down to the hospital, and uh, I think about uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, I had a, another attack, and that's because they stopped at the, uh, I was urinating chloride blood, so they, they stopped the heparin, and when they did, 2 o'clock in the morning, I had that another heart attack and then down on the table again. <laughs> so it was too many times on the table. And then he, the next morning he told me, come up, told me, he said, if I don't have the bypass done, I'm going to keep having heart attacks. Well, I have it done. Shit, what are you asking me? It's my choice. Do it. <laughs> yeah. How many angios did you have altogether? Oh, forget it. <laughs> oh. You were like in the hospital, I know, like twice a year or something like no, that. No, it's every, every year around the same time, around August, uh, I'd be in with for have angio and done it again, and be having slight pains or something, and they'd do, do the angios again. But it, it's been mostly almost every, every year since then. But, uh, when I had the last, last one done here about... Uh, uh -huh. Did I have one last year? It might have been, yeah. Yeah, I think last year I had the last one. So August is coming up, so we should all be prepared? Huh? August is coming up, so we should all be prepared? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I, I started I beating that. I, I got rid of the August bit, and they started hitting just you know, random. I, and they'd have to go in again and do the angels. They did so many in the drawing area, they couldn't do them there anymore. And they went to the other side, into the wrist now, which is better and easier. 
Mm -hmm. So I've had that in the rest a few times. Mm -hmm. I remember my dad had come out to California to visit me at one point, and my friend Ed took him golfing. And they were playing 18 rounds. And Ed's like, Fred, if you start having chest pains and need to pop a nitro, um, I'm going to play through. I'll pick you up at the, uh, what do they call it? The, the... The 19th hall. I'll pick you up at the 19th hall. So <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> and then after all your heart issues. And I had to have my thyroids removed. So that was another thing. <laughs> yeah. And then after that, well, that's fine running around doing everything. Well, funking. wait a minute. After his heart attacks, he was running around and doing everything. He was still hunting and golfing and... and yeah, I had the bypass in January. Mm -hmm. Had the bypass in January and I was out hunting in October. <laughs> June and July, I was, I was golfing. How long have you been in bed right now? Uh, what, two weeks, two and a half weeks? He's going, he's going on three weeks of being laid up in bed. It's killing him. He hates being stuck in bed. My father cannot sit still for this long. Oh, I would love to be stuck in bed. <laughs> I just can't get up and move around. I tried it. I tried going out and sitting out there in a chair. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, so then after get... your... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, not till I get all this done. <laughs> yeah. So then so. after your thyroid... Then I had prostate cancer. <laughs> prostate. Huh? Prostate. That's what I said. Yeah. Prostate cancer. Okay. <laughs> so I had that, and I had to go for treatments on that. It took took them about uh, after the radiation. I had to have shots, and it took about uh, two and a half, well, almost three years before they finished me. And I beat that. I was done. <laughs> And now, I end up with cancer again. Uh, I forgot what you call it. <laughs> Osteosarcoma, which is a bone cancer that you get from having another cancer that radiation is caused it. by the radiation. Yes, yeah, so the radiation don't help sometimes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and then this one here now, from what the doctor was saying, he's got to remove my hip bone, hip, my right hip, my right uh, pelvis, Pelvic. and replace them with bionic ones. We can rebuild you! <laughs> so then he said, he'll try his damnedest to save my leg, but he's not going to guarantee it. So, if he does save it, from the knee down, it'll be in a brace anyway, and it'll be dead. But I guess better better that than not having one at all. But so. no matter what, you're still going to have one leg to kick ass. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I better not. <laughs> Go ahead, you can say it. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's a family thing. Huh? It's a family thing. <laughs> Go ahead, you can say it. If Kevin doesn't want to put it in, he'll cut it out. Well, all men have three legs, so oh. if I lose the one, I still got two. <laughs> yeah, Kevin will probably cut that out. <laughs> so. We've always told my dad he's a pain in the ass, and, well, now he's proved it. <laughs> 